How are you guys? Good. How are you? Good. How are you? Great. It's nice to see you all today. Too. Um, thanks so much for making time. I'm from SciFiVision.com. Uh, I think this is our first uh, interview with any of you guys, and I'll jump right into it. Um, I love how season two, as Sam um, has moved to be able to more deal with the world and and you know think outside herself, that all of you guys get a little bit um, more of a story. Uh, I feel mm -hmm. like it's about Sam starting to notice other people. And so I'd love to start um, with Sasha and talk about like some of the things that Britt's going through this season and some of the, um, you know, some of the ways her relationship with Sam, what we can expect to see with that uh, yeah. in the episodes. I actually love the, the way that you said it, Sam starting to notice other people because we had talked a bit about her um, having a bit of a narcissistic lens, you know, or her character is showing that sort of narcissistic lens in the journey. But um, with Britt and Sam, you know, at the end of season one, you see Brit show up at Sam's door the night of her wedding and really sort of remember, oh, right, you're my best friend. I need you now. And at the top, uh, I get divorced. And you see Brit start to lean a little bit more on both Sam and Felicia as sources of friendship and sources of, um, you know, finding resolve and really just trusting people again. Because I think she's sort of been in this cocoon of trying to do everything by herself. Um, but you see a lot more of us hanging out. You see, uh, eventually Sam does have to sleep on my couch because <laughs> um, life's not perfect when you're sober. Um, but, uh, no, I think you just get to see a lot of us really not only lean on each other, but also encourage each other to take control of our lives by ourselves. And I think, um, Felicia, or excuse me, Lily has spoken to that, uh, today in some really great ways as well. Yeah, well, that brings me to, um, we get a little bit more Felicia's storyline also. And, you know, Felicia, I mean, she continues to be, uh, she's she's the best adjusted, the healthiest person of everyone, I think, all the characters on the screen. Um, uh, she, you know, when I first met her in the beginning of season one, when I started binging, you know, you think one thing when you meet her and she turns out to be this totally kind of other person. Uh, so she's got some new storylines going on also this season. And I, uh, you know, um, I wonder if we could talk a little bit about that, also tease our fans a little bit about what uh, fabulous Felicia's got coming up. Yeah, uh, you know, I think I think all of us, is including myself, when I first read it, had that judgment about Felicia, and you know, you kind of, but in that first uh, episode of the first season, you you really like, all right, all right, I get this girl, okay, fun party girl, and. Uh, you know, being able to kind of shed those layers slowly and slowly has has been a joy of mine playing this character. And this season, you know, I think we get to see her in a more vulnerable state where she doesn't have all the answers all of the time. And um, and you know, she's got a new relationship starting to happen. She's maybe got some old people from the, her past coming back in and trying to shake things up. Mm -hmm. um, and at the end of the day, you know, she's just trying to take care of her kid and, you know, also get what she needs. And, uh, uh, you know, the re the relationships past the same thing and, and with the men in her life are, you know, I think give, give a good little window inside to how she deals day to day yeah and i love how we get to see event a little bit about how her her parenting style uh you know having a young son and and you know sam's relationship with her mom um uh, uh, you know the difference between how the two moms uh i mean of course their children are totally different but you know the mom thing really i think is important this season also yeah yeah and and i think too part of that with with carol is this certain type of perfectionism that I think across the board, Carol tries for in these certain ways. And, you know, I think the scene between Carol and Felicia, I think really has to do with, you know, Fe Felicia is is not the perfect mom. She was a teen mom. She didn't know what she was doing for a long time. And I so I think there's a certain level of Carol being able to let down her guard a little bit and let down this wannabe picture of perfection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. Um, Garrick, I'd love to talk for a second uh, with you. Uh, another thing I like about the show is, you know, I think a lot of times when I see a, a person on 
television who's an addict or an alcoholic and you know we see their journey and they get sober and we only see them living in this world of all other sober people i love that this show has all the dynamics of sam's group and her friends and you know uh, james has this you know he's really i mean he's almost center stage i feel like this season um and like we learn a lot about sam through relationship with james and i wonder i i mean we don't want to spoil anything but uh can you talk about that dynamic between like the people in the group and how this show is doing that a little differently um yeah definitely uh as you were saying earlier, it is Sam noticing other people and then the audience noticing other people in a weird sense. Um, and it, I feel like it just gives a lot more context to her selfishness uh, in, a, in a weird way where it's just like, I'm, I'm asking all of these questions and I'm, a, and I'm asking people to do these things without ever asking them, how are you doing? What are you up to? And then even when they do uh, say these things or let them let her in and be vulnerable to her, she kind of just like pushes it away or like absorbs it and then just be like, okay, well, what does that have to do with me? And then spits out her um, question or want or need and all of that. And so I, 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 I'm really grateful that they do, um, or the writers did give us a lot more of a story um, this season. And a lot of it doesn't have to do with Sam. Uh, and it puts her selfishness a little bit more center stage, which is nice. Yeah, I think her selfishness is center stage, but I, I sometimes think when other people in the group feel like they need to be selfish, yeah, they don't get that maybe. Like, I, I don't know if, if James is, if I would call him selfish in the beginning of the season, but he's, you know, it's not just Sam. He's a little, James is a little. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I uh, mentioned this earlier, but um, I feel like the uh, sobriety journey is a little bit, and in, in, for lack of a better term, self-centered. And so you do have to focus in on who you are and what your relationship is with alcoholism. And so you do a lot of uh, focusing or self-focusing and self-adjustment and evolving, um, which is a very nice term that somebody said earlier. But yeah, I, I definitely feel like with that, you tend to not look outside of yourself and what people need and all of their, you know, all of their wants. And so with James, him relapsing and then trying to figure out what being sober means to him, um, he also become selfish and also has these lofty goals that he needs to like refocus on or fix and and not be so fakely confident you know he definitely has to have a solid or a more solid foundation than he set up before because that was all based off of like fake rules that you know only benefit him and make him seem perfect on paper when in actuality he's crumbling mm. right well, I'm getting the warning. We're out of time. I want to thank you guys so much. This is not a show that I um, had watched before I um, was invited to interview. And I like binged the whole two seasons in two days. And I love it. Thank you I was so about much. To say, did we turn you? That's right. Yeah. Oh, you got to me. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry that I watched the whole second season. I got to wait so long for season three. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know. Thank, so, you. thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. thank, thank you. you. Have a thank great you. day. Thank you, you so too. much. Bye.